Okay, hi guys, I hope the video quality is okay because my phone is a piece of crap. So I'm using a Samsung, but they don't record that well. So in this video, I'm going to show you the Sheberashka rig. So it's, or in the UK, they call it like flex head or swing jig rigs. And all it is, is compared to a standard jig head, right? You see, it's got a lot of movement. And all that means is that in the water, your lure can flank a bit more because it's not fixed to that weight. See how it turns a bit more. And in the water... When you're reeling that in it just flashes and that's why i prefer the silver color like this shad is because it just gives off a lot more light and flash in the water and that always does me well and because it's not fixed as you see there when you hold it still and you just dead stick it on the bottom if you've got a little bit of flow maybe not with one of these but say a pintail it can just give a little bit more action without you actually doing anything which i think is always a plus so the way you go about rigging these i've got some shebrashka weights in this little pocket in box they're really handy dead thin like as you see and they're small you can fit tons of these in your tackle bag and basically i've got hang on let me let it focus yeah i've got 2.5 gram and 1.5 gram i use them the most but i've also got some three fours five sixes because sometimes i go somewhere that's pushing a little bit and if i plan to go say to the thames i would probably carry tens around around that but anyway i've got them and i've also got my bag uh, my box that's got the hooks and things in it so let's just take a hook out now and we'll grab a weight i'm going to use a heavy weight just because it's easier to pick up on camera i wouldn't actually be using it so you've got your weight and you need to get your lure or your hook onto the weight yep so the way we do it is these little shibarashka, see it says the grams there, you just take the pin out, there we go, and you grab your hook and hold the bulb of the pin up and just thread the, lure, thread the hook on and around, see we're done, and you always know you've done it the right way when the curve is on top of the hook, alright, now take that pin, get your shibarashka again, and just put that back through see it just threads back through and then you tie your line there or tie whatever you want there and you are ready to fish from there on right now to rig the lure it's just a weedless thing and um, if you keep rigging a lure weedless you're gonna rip the head just get a lighter and you can just fix it and if your lures don't have the weedless slit like this one did which I think is really good from them for making that little slit if your lures don't have that just grab some scissors you know everyone's got them in the kitchen drawer and just get the cut a hole in them like these ones I've all shredded <laughs> catch a lot of fish on them so they get used a lot so you just thread the put the eye of the put the needle point just through the head of the little gudgeon. I'm using a realistic shad gudgeon in this purple colour. And all you do is thread it round to the shank, up to the eye. And you see it's there. Now we need to just get that hook in there like that. Yep. So we measure it up, bring it through. And we are pretty much done. See how simple that is. And see the weight hanging there? That will sit on the bottom and that will move around on its own. They've got a lot of paddle and movement and flash. And if you're fishing somewhere really snaggy, just to help a bit more, you could push the plastic over the eye of the hook. And that will just mean, look, it's not hooking me, but the moment that pops down, it's on. So that is the Shabarashka rig, guys. And you can just take a lot of uh, lures ready rigged on the offset hooks ready for the weights. And just try and travel light. I mean, just pick small boxes very small boxes i mean this box i've got here is a little plano see there it's just a little plano box i got today really nice quality and they're really thin as well so i mean you can fit quite a few into a lure bag and so yeah that's just what i just wanted to say there in that little video just travel light for shebrush i mean it's just like a jig but it just opens up the options it's never going to outfish a jig well it can outfish a jig but i'm not saying you only need to use this and it will replace jigs because every method has its day i'm just saying it's something that could be handy in the box so when you're going out fishing it's always good to have options thanks